Right, in this short video today, I'd just like to show you my new twist drill grinding gauge that I've made up. And it's not an idea that I've invented, um, it's an idea that was used um, mainly through the 70s and 80s in engineering. They used to have one of these in the factory where I worked, near the grinding wheel section. And it's used to check that the drills are equally ground on both sides. And it's dead easy to make up. All this it's made of is a couple of pieces of steel and two 8mm grub screws and nuts. And then all you need is a base to secure it to. So I had a couple of pieces of gauge plate which is 30mm wide and 6mm thick and 350 millimeter long for the upright piece and a piece which is 135 millimeter for the part that screws to the base. So you basically make them with a length which is suitable for the longest drill that you'll be checking. And you don't need gauge plate like I've used there. You can use ordinary mild steel if you want to. So before I welded the two parts together, I got the lower piece and I drilled and tapped for eight millimeter thread for the pointed parts here and drilled and countersunk two holes in which to secure it to the base. The Grub screws are easy to make up into pointed ones using the grinding wheel and I used this method here. So if you use that method you get a perfect cone, it's basically the same as grinding up centre punches and you can also just finish polish on the lathe or a buffing wheel to get a really nice finish. So they are simply screwed into the base of the stand and locked up with the nut. So if you've used one of these in the past, you'll probably have one with just one point. And that's because when we used to use these years ago, all as we checked with them is tapered shank drills, which have the hole in the um, taper here to go on the point. But I've made mine so that I can actually check ordinary straight shank drills and of virtually any size. So before you can use a straight shank drill on the gauge you have to put a cone in the back here with a center drill or a spot drill like I used. This section of the drill isn't hardened like the front of the drill so you can use a spot drill or center drill in there to put a cone on and then I can use the one here for the longer drills but I can also use this one which is closer to the upright for the very small drills. So I've put a cone in each one of those on the lathe.
So I welded it back and front and the first grub screw is about 35 millimeter from the upright and the second one is 60 millimeter from the upright and then I spray painted it with grey paint just to give it a rust protective finish and I used this Dichem steel blue liquid um, layout fluid on the upright the drill is simply put onto the cone like that and you use the cutting edge just to lightly scribe a line across the upright like that and then you can turn it round and scribe the second line if it scribes in the first line it's dead equal or if it scribes above or below it's unequal and you need to regrind the drill And that one's perfectly ground. And you can buy gauges to check the angle of the uh, drill. But I've got a homemade one there which is really good, made out of a piece of 5mm tall steel. So check the angle, check the cutting edges are equal and you should have a perfectly ground drill.